Dolls don't sleep. Dolls don't need sleep. <sighs> ah, welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? Farewell, good. May you. F okay, so I'm starting to have a theory about her. I don't want to talk about it until I get further into the game and see if I'm right about it. But I don't think she's... I don't think she's a doll. I don't think she's an automaton. Which is what I figured to begin with. I, to begin with, I thought, okay, she's probably an automaton. Sort of like the ones made for the court of uh, the Emperor in Byzantium. But I don't think so. There's something else going on with her. Um, anywho, we were going to do some cool stuff in the Chalice Dungeons today. Oh, I need to clear something up since the last time. Okay, Jennifer. I know that the Chalice Dungeons weren't made by the Hunters. I also know that they're not... Um, that they weren't made by Bergenworth or the Healing Church. What I was talking about when I said that I thought they were maybe that they had been repurposed was literally that. Um, there seems to be this attitude, a very strong attitude of the hunters are to be feared. They're not meant to be something that's simply admired. They're actually meant to be feared. And to me... At least, that would seem to indicate that there's more going on than there appears. Oh, you motherfucker. Get over here. I came back here for a reason, by the way. Uh, through here, I think? Was it through here? Or was it through there? It was one of these. Then again, maybe I'm wrong. Um, oh, screw it. We'll get out of here. Actually, no, we won't get out of here. Okay. This. It's a root. Okay. And it's obviously petrified. But it does have a very octopusy feel to it, don't you think? Or is that just me? Is that just me? Hey, Bubba. I'm just killing them for shits and giggles, to be quite honest. Also, we can always use more consumables, so, you know. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, so what brought this up was where I said that I had my suspicions about... Where the frickin' hell am I supposed to go? This way. Um, about how some of the... Um, some of the tombstones embedded in the walls are much more weathered than others now what where i was going last week and i really did not explain myself properly is that this is a setting very much based on european cities and european cities a huge proportion of them are basically built on each other they're european cities built on top of european cities now I said that this is not a human place, and I still maintain that. I still feel that it's not a human place. One evidence of this is all these sensor, uh, these, yeah, sensors, um, burning incense, and uh, to me that indicates that they're trying to keep beasts under control, or at least keep them away to a degree. They're meant to be like a buffer between the real world, or uh, the above world, I should say, and the lower world. Now, hunters are to be feared. We know this. We know that they dislike us, they fear us, especially hunters who come from the outside. If a hunter falls, do you really want them buried with your family? 
with your friends, with your leaders? I don't think so. I think you're going to want them buried as deep underground as you dare go. And that's why I wonder if these fresher carvings with far more human figures. Like that is a very, very human figure. This looks relatively new compared to some of the things we've seen so far. And what I'm wondering is, is it possible that the the people of Yarnum are actually using the upper levels? And I specifically mean like the first one or two levels, the first couple of dungeons, as a way of getting rid of hunters. It's just an idea. I'm not saying that it's certain. I don't know. The other thing I'll say is I am going into this not knowing the story and not knowing what all the other lore people have figured out. And I'm purposely avoiding finding that out because when that happens, when you go into a game like this and you're trying to figure out the lore for yourself, if you get influenced by anyone else's lore, you might miss something that everybody else has missed as well. You're more likely to end up going down the well-trodden path that everybody else has gone down and uh, that's why I really and I'm saying this to everyone no lore spoilers please none I uh, where I can get weapons that's fine that is cool absolutely cool hints about fighting bosses if I'm really struggling at one that's cool too the significance of those items and those bosses well this is not going to be my only playthrough of Bloodborne. And there will be plenty of time in the future for you to um, tell me how wrong I am. And boy, have I gotten some messages about how wrong I am. Yeah. Hello. You die now. Oh, you're a tough one. Hey. Wow, they are significantly tougher, and I hear footsteps that aren't mine. God damn it. Ooh, I hear big footsteps. Oh, you can actually see which ones have the people in them. These are filled with skulls. Hang on, I want to have a proper look at those. Yeah, they're human skulls. So, yeah, this actually does lend itself some credence to my theory that they're using here as a way to get rid of bodies. Uh, the reason I say that is there's a tradition in cities, because it's very difficult to find space to bury the dead. Uh, there's a tradition that I don't know if it exists outside of European cities, but in European cities where you're only buried for so long. And once, you're once you're buried long enough that your bones will just be bones, nothing else, you're usually disinterred and put into a storage space for I think it's not a mausoleum I can't remember the proper name for it, crypt I think where basically that's where you're stored where your bones are stored for the rest of eternity and usually they're not actually they're usually sorted by type so your skull will be next to the skulls of hundreds of other people or thousands or tens of thousands your femurs the same you know they're that way but the fact that these are just bare bones that are being put into what look like, well, in all honesty, like really small coffins, like you would if you had just bones. To me, that indicates, at least it, it seems to indicate that there's a possibility that this is a place that uh, is not, that is primarily based in a European setting. Oh, damn, that was good. Okay, there's going to be traps here somewhere. Yep, yeah, right there. That's a pressure pad. Shooty things. So, yeah, that's that's all that I was saying the last time. That's where I went wrong. As I said when I was recording that, I was recording it with a terrible migraine, which meant that I was actually having a lot of problem making clear what I was trying to say. Eh. Uh-oh. Okay. Bagman, not so bad at this level. Blood vials. I will take those blood vials. Thank you. Okay, what else do we have here? 
Okay, so this is much more worn. The writing is basically gone off it, so it's far older. Um, the heads and hands have been... No, human hands. Very human hands. Although, actually, these don't look so much like they're worn down. They look like they've been put in place for use in the future. Either that or there's already someone behind them. Which, admittedly, is possible. There's nothing inside the jars. Hmm. I, I do have ideas of what this whole thing is about. That's a messenger. Okay. Hmm. I really do need to think about this. Ooh. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky sod. Ooh, Molotovs. I do like a Molotov. I must admit. Maybe it's just the uh, batshit crazy person inside me, but I, I love a Molotov. We open this. Hey. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Let's try that again. Uh. Oh, this is why you shouldn't mix your better that could have gone a lot better yeah these shelves these would be the kind of thing that would have uh, cleaned ah here perfect example in a lot of European cities this is how you end up in the end at least historically speaking I think they still do it in lot certainly in London I don't know about outside of London but in London definitely um, and this is another good example of the same thing. See the way the bones are stacked? And that to me is very clearly European influenced. Wow, I missed basically every strike. Okay, why? Why did it bring us in here? There's nothing in here. Mm. Ah! That's why. Chest, chesty chest, loot. Something good, something good, something good, something good, something good, something really good. Two mold. Uh. Okay, which way are we supposed to go now? Uh, wrong way. This way. God, I love this game. I really, really love this game. It's... Oh, it's just that perfect melding of exploration and... Oh, it's so good. It's so freaking good. And I love the way that FromSoft have taken a... I've really taken to heart the... The kind of European aesthetic. Another place in there. Lots of blood vials. This is good. Damn, things are getting really expensive. I love this. Those little lights. They're like little corpse wires. I actually think they might be. Hmm. 
Hmm. Sorry, I've gone into pure figuring and looking for clues and... I actually don't expect to uh, figure out the story of this for a... Hang on. For a long time to come because it's... The kind of game where you're gonna spend... Months, if not years, figuring out your theory on a game. And it's one of the wonderful things about games like this. I've, I think I've, I, I know I've chatted in comment section, in comment threads with, um, oh, I need to actually look this up because I'm, I'm actually really tired of screwing up people's usernames. It's pissing me off so much. Uh, and the great thing about recording at my computer means I can do these things. Yeah, Gothic Tech. Uh, I've chatted with him before. With them before. Did you just gender me, man? Uh, about the... The way that FromSoft games are basically designed from the ground up to be... Trap. Uh, to be open to interpretation. Like... Uh, the core story is the same for everyone. Like Dark Souls, it the story is the linking of the fire and the choice of a specific undead on whether to actually link the, link the fire or not. Of course, it's kind of irrelevant because sooner or later somebody else will be will come along who'll do it even if you don't. That's another theory of mine. We'll get to that at some point in the future. But beyond the basic story, everything else is open to interpretation. And your idea of what the underlying story is will most likely be completely different to mine. Or at least different in some significant manner. Uh, some people will... Like, some people will find a more hope hopeful story, others less. Oh, you. Hello. Goodbye. Um, some people will find a more hopeful story. Like, in Dark Souls 3, I find Dark Souls 3 quite a hopeful story. And, yeah, that includes the ending of it. But, probably something I should talk about at some point in the future. Whereas, other people may find in Dark Souls a very a very sad story a story of terrible loss terrible failure it really depends on the way you view the world and what you see in the various clues what you see in the various hints and tips scattered throughout the game and it's one of the things I love about FromSoft. I love... Well, about Soulsborne games. FromSoft in general, I'm not really sure. I mean, I've played Armored Core. I played the original Armored Core. God, that was a confusing game. But, um... Certainly the Soulsborne games. Your interpretation of the story beneath the surface story is yours. It's truly yours. And, I mean... After I finished all three of the Dark Souls games, I went and watched uh, Vatividia's games on uh, our uh, lore videos. And I overall, I agree with him, but there's certain things I don't agree at all with in him. But the great thing about Soulsborne games is his interpretation and my interpretation are e each equally valid. There is no right interpretation. Of the story beneath the core story. The core story is like a, a core of iron. Whereas. Uh, the story. How do I explain this? If you can imagine. The core story. The story of the linking of the fire. And the rise and fall of the kingdoms. That's like a rod of iron. Round down the middle. And then woven around that rod. Like a rope is all of the other stories, all of the little stories, the stories of the little people, the stories of um, Andre of Astora, the story, uh, the stories of you know, 
the Fire Maidens, the Knights of Karim. The these stories, they're they're there, but the way you read that story in the small clues that are given and the way I read it might be very subtly different or they might be completely wildly different but they're both equally valid because the pieces of information the little threads that are scattered throughout the games are so they're so fine that they're open to interpretation they're open to different ways of viewing that world and I love that I adore it 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 genuinely makes me very, very happy. Yeah, my mama didn't raise no fool, but there's a lot of loot here and I want it all. Ritual blood. Hang on. It doesn't look like there's any traps, but... Never mind. Yeah, you stay down there. Now, here's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for some insane weapon. Some truly nuts weapon. No, ritual blood. Well, fuck. But yeah, anyway. That's me extolling the virtues of the FromSoft methodology for t telling stories. Something I really admire. And I wish it was something I could use in my writing. But it's not really something you can use in writing. Because it's difficult to hint at those stories that are beneath the surface. Very difficult. Whereas gaming, video games... Video games are the one medium where that is not just possible... It's actually wonderfully doable. Hey. Nope. You die now. Have I mentioned I love this sword? I mean, have I mentioned just how much I love this sword? Because this sword is freaking badass. game um another thing that's changed happened recently is i have gone back to dark souls 2 which i swore i'd never do messengers we view the messengers as guides they show us where we've been they provided us with our weapons they did climb along our bodies when we became a hunter, when we got our yarn and blood. But here, the messengers are... Death. Messengers are messengers of death. In some way. That's sneaky. That is so sneaky. Goodbye. I'm not saying it was effective, but it was sneaky. Are we done up here? Are we actually done with this section? I think we are. Which means it's probably boss time. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go fight a boss. Like a boss! But, uh, yeah, the lore in Souls games are, is just incredible. The, the depths of it and the way that you can actually almost go too deep in it. Uh, I suppose a non-gaming equivalent would be people trying, like myself, trying to fi figure out the, the story beneath the story in Rick and Morty. Now, I'm not one of those people that went nuts over Sage on Souls. I didn't like it the first time. But at the same time, I do like trying to figure out who Rick really is and who Morty really is. Oh. 
Uh oh. Hey. Hey! Ah, I keep hitting the wrong. Let me out of here, fuck! I'm dead. I have no idea what I did there. On the plus side, it's a pretty straight run, so I'm not great about it. But yeah, there's that, and even like way, way, way back when Babylon 5 had its own, um, I suppose, meta miners where a handful of people would spend days, weeks, in my case, months trying to figure out what the real story was behind the shadows, who they really were. Bye! No idea what the hell just happened there. Oof. That was a big hit. Buddy, now we're talking. It's just you and me and your death. Was that as good for you as it was for me? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, that was. Ah. Okay. These guys. First time we've really had a chance to look at them properly since I decided to fucking just lure. These guys are not human. And I know you could say, well, they were mutated by blood or whatever. Nope. These guys just aren't human. Uh, they don't move like humans. They don't look like humans. The skin is oily and actually far more like... Um, Almost like fish skin, sort of, but if you took the scales off, if you ever descaled a sh uh, fish and the skin underneath, almost slug like. And actually, that's what they remind me of is bipedal slugs. Their clothing is even oozing. Like I said, this, this is not a human place. This is not a human place. But it is a fun place. Ooh, we got uh, blood gems, didn't we? Not blood gems, they're... Are they blood gems? Yeah, they are blood gems. Okay, so we got... Let's see. I could sell a lot of these. Add slow poison. Physical attack, physical attack, plus 13.5. Thrust and blunt. Blunt attack up and add slow poison effect. That could be interesting. Fire attack, nah. Skill scaling. If I could get one that, oh, plus 12. Now that could be worth using. Radiant blood gem, nice. Tempered blood gem. Reduces stamina costs by 2.8%. Physical attack. Add rapid poison effect. Now we're talking. Poor man's bloodstone gem. Attack up near death. Fire. Reduces stamina cost. Blood attack. 
attack versus beasts. Attack, I think the attack versus beast one, the gold one, far more useful in New Game Plus. Okay, I am going to light the lantern that will be on the other side of this. And then we're going to go through that gate, that door, that thing. Oh, bagman, great. If I mentioned how much I love the bagman, I mean, really just adore them. I mean, how could you not? Okay, that, I think that's meant to be bronze. Or brass. Or even copper, but it would be covered in... Verdigris. The hell happened to me there? I sucked. Ooh. Griffin. A griffin. Why in the world would there be griffins down here? Oh, bad, bad, bad things. Where's the ladder? Never mind. Come on. Okay, this is going to be a pain. back down for all that crap we gotta deal with mr. Molotov first of all fuck you god damn it oh oh there's a lot to hear okay so you're gonna give me bolt paper interesting okay I hadn't noticed... Oh, I had not noticed that before. Bolt Hunter's Mark. These people... Human, I would guess... Are bowing. And there's... A sconce there? Everyone has their faces covered with... Are those humans? I don't think those are human. I think they might be messengers, although no, they're not right for messengers either. Hmm. Thought required. Requires thinking. I've got to use my head. Doesn't open from this side. Okay, so it's going to be that side. This is through there. Or there's through here. Can I open this? I can open this. Okay. Nice and careful. Because it's not that I don't trust anything here. It's just that I don't trust anything here. A lot of bolt hunters marks. It's almost like they want us to get the uh, GTFO. Not actually sure where that is. But we're not going through it yet anyway. Um, chalice dungeons are my idea of a whole heap of fun. Oh, cannon! Uh, stop. Thank you. 
Blood vials. Lots of loot. All the loot. More loot. Give me more loot. I want more. Give me more. Give me stuff. And things. And items. Okay. Well, it's definitely an intricate one. Excuse me. Stop trying to kill me! Damn! If I stand on that, it's probably a trap. It'll probably summon some yokes. Which we're not going to deal with. Oh, mooned! Freaking mooned! Ah! Did that bastard just heal? That bastard just healed. How dare you, sir? Curse the death blood gem. Is that our first cursed? I want to say that's our first cursed. Adept, odd, radiant, cursed. Blunt attack, wow, but it increases your stamina costs. Uh. Something good, please, something really good. Strange that they'd have that there. It's almost like a lay marker. Uh, some churches have ley line markers. Not entirely sure why, but some do. Okay, so that's that one. Um, there was somewhere we could drop here, wasn't there? Yeah, it was down the end of this. I'm going to pick where I drop kind of carefully. Yeah, this looks good. Well, something died. You know what I should have done is I should have checked behind those goddamn blow dart guys. Oh, that was dumb. Hmm. The deeper we go, the worse things look. Oh well. Onward. Actually, maybe. Maybe like this. Let's not be hasty. No summoner? That doesn't... Poison knives. They may be my favourite uh, consumable, I have to say. I do love a point. Hey, hey! Motherfucker! Don't you ignore me. Assholes. I don't think there's anything in here, but I just want to have another check. Okay, so yeah, I can go with this again. The reason I wonder is the are these dungeons being reused by the people of Yarnum? These ancient places that aren't human places. These old places, as you would say, these places drenched in blood. I wonder if, like many many other cities and other in other places. I wonder if they're reusing these old places as a way to deal with the pro ever rising problem of dead. And what's more, with that being 
the hunter symbol. As I said, are they trying to get rid of their dead hunters here? Just in case the motherfuckers come back, because really, who wants to deal with dead hunters? The ones that are alive are trouble enough, considering I've had to put, what, three of them down so far? But this symbol... I do completely agree that this is a much older place than anywhere in the... Um, Do I have a monocular? I do. Yeah, it looks like a star. There's a little skeleton to one side of it as well. Let's have a look at this one. You have rosettes. A head torso, feet and hands. Although maybe that's meant to represent the heart rather than the body. Anyway, like I said, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm really enjoying trying to. Hmm. Actually, I was going to say maybe that's turned back to front because it kind of looks like it could be, but it's not. It definitely isn't. Oh! We're done! Awesome! We can leave now. We can get on with our lives. We've other things to do and places to be and people to kill. I also need to look up the historical significance of the griffin because them is griffins. I'm just saying it right now, they are griffins and I'm going to see if I can get a level. The reason I'm going to see if I can get a level is uh, that would mean I could start using the phantasm shell. I'm really curious about that because I had no idea it wasn't a one shot use. so. Okay, I think we need what? That's not what I wanted. Welcome. What is it? Uh. Very well. Let me. Yeah, I need nine thousand. Actually, I need ninety-five. Nine. I need ninety-five hundred. So, let's see. What's the biggest one we got? Ah, yeah, four of them should do. Well, no, they won't quite do, but they'll be damn close. Uh, use multiple. Yeah, we're almost there. Um, you? Would you be enough? Oh, I'm so close. I can taste it, actually. I'm going to sell a ritual blood. Ritual blood two. Which will blood one. One of the basic ingredients used to satiate a holy chalice is this incoagulable blood. When all is melted in blood, all is reborn. This one holds far more energy. Mold that grows from rotten flesh and blood inside the old labyrinth matures to bear giant spores. Arcane haze. The tiny smatterings of haze that are found in certain ritual materials sometimes required for special rites. The additional rite sinister bell makes the bell ringing woman appear. When she rings the sinister bell, hunters from other worlds will be beckoned as adversaries. Bloodshot eye, pearl slugs. That almost looks like DNA. Solid shard that forms in cold blood. After death, some substances crystallize, but most simply harden and form bloodstones. At the workshop, these stones are embedded in weapons to fortify them. That almost looks like DNA. Uh, one of these will do. Oh, you misses. Welcome home. What is very well? Let me. 
actually our item discovery is really freaking good now. We're at 92, 192. Okay. Uh, you. Requires the use of three quick silver bullets. How many bullets do we have as a matter of question, out of curiosity? Is there any way to check here? I don't think there is, is there? But I know one where, one place I can check. No. Uh, 139. That's all right. That's not bad. I want to fortify. Uh, no, hang on. Do I? Can I fortify? I keep meaning to use the Kirk hammer. So, blood gem. Uh, Ludwig's holy blood. Okay, so let's see. This one is not nearly as good, so we'll stick with that. Now, these. Let's see. There was a skill one somewhere. Cursed Adept increases blunt attack. That increases my skill scaling, which does significantly more damage in thrust. And I presume the standard physical attack is when I'm using it as a short sword. It's a big jump. I mean, it's 101 damage of in general. So, let's see. That one is blunt plus 8.8. That's purely thrust, fire, physical. Uh, it's cursed, it increases. Okay, so if I, let's try something. Okay. So 163 is, that's 9, but it's a drop of 11. This is probably really dumb. work although it's really going to reduce if I was going to do that I'd be probably better off going with that to be honest add physical attack plus 5 reduces stamina cost by 2.8 percent where was my I had one that had rapid oh it was it wasn't one of these was it that's a pain 13.5 I don't remember how in the hell I got the numbers I did <laughs> I really don't oh oh that works I have a funny feeling that's what it was already but that works beautiful um I should really, actually, now that I think about it, I should blood fortify my saw spear. You are using. I'm using that one, which gives me rally potential. So we can't really do much with that, but maybe, maybe. Okay, so none of those are better. And none of those are better. Eh. That sucks. Gods all suck. Alrighty. 
Layer three. No, 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 no. Layer three. <laughs> we can expunge it when it's over. When we have done the fight. And I apologise and I'm taking my time on this one. I'm actually quite tired. And I'm just relaxing. I'm just chilling out and taking it easy because... You know. Why not? Hey, boys. Oh my god, what the hell happened there? And heal, and heal. to bet one of these is a... No, apparently not. Okay, so... Where to next? This way. You want to try that again, bud? There's one of those crystal lizard things. I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anything up here before I go down there. It's funny how there's this... judder goes into the screen now and then. Uh, nice try. My turn. Okay. I am guessing that this is where that yoke is. Uh... What are you? <laughs> Slime, of course. Missed one. Damn it. You had your shot, now it's mine. Boot paper. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I, I can't remember if I've tried this before. Let's see. Exit game, yes. Let's see if we reload the game, whether it'll uh, bring that guy back. Because it would be really nice if it brought that guy back. I'm really, really hoping to do more. Symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes but awakens to refresh. As if it were all just a bad dream. Great old bell. Hello. A tempering bloodstone, Jeff. Nice. Okay. All good. Uh, we're going back up. We're going up to do the thing. And the thing that we shall do. Uh, I think it was this way. Nope. It was this way. And... No, it wasn't up. It was through here. Oh. 
Oh god. Damn it! There's multiple bagmen and that guy and their stores and there's a rotunda and we're yeah. <sighs> okay. 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 Be right back. Someone at the door. And I'm back. My dogs went indiscriminately nuts. What the hell happened there? <laughs> okay, that was really frackin' weird. I will always take an easy kill on one of them just because upgrade materials, you know, little unimportant things like that. Ah, uh, boy. Okay, so we need to go up, I think. Am I... I'm wrong. Where in the hell am I? <sighs> well, he missed me anyway. Okay, what the hell? I'm so confused right now. Well, I'll take some tomb mold. I love this weapon. It might be a little bit slow and unwieldy, but when it hits, it hits, it hits with absolute authority. Actually, this is something I wanted to point out that I really like. Uh, I've seen things like this before, where it's kind of, the floor is kind of vaulted. That's usually because there's another space underneath it. It's a way of supporting a roof without while allowing supporting a stone roof while allowing it to be relatively thin i love that little, just that little added detail it's one of those little things that it doesn't necessarily mean a big great deal but it's it's still kind of nice that they would even think to include it cold blood dew bagman okay With a torta. Okay. So. Oh. Oh, now this is different. This is really dressed. Like the stone here is really well dressed. It's really high quality. Kind of an unusual place to put it though. Like, why would you put it there where it's not visible? Where no one will ever see it. Okay, let's see. There's one there, so let's try not to step on any of the traps. I guess that would be a good idea. I have no freaking idea where I am. It's one of these... Okay, so you come through here. Okay, okay, okay. I know where I am now. Oh! We get to try the phantasm shell. Uh. 
Oh. Oh god. That does significantly more damage. Hey. Hey, motherfucker. That's not what I wanted to do. But this la that lasts a really really significant amount of time. I'm kind of surprised by how long that lasts actually. And all it costs is like three doodads. I'm I'm quite okay with that. Okay, so let's see. This comes in through here and then it's no. It's here. Not gonna overuse that because I'll burn through my silver bullets really quickly if I'm not careful. Oh god. Okay, that's. Operate the device first. Then we'll worry about whatever might be hidden here. You're too. I love that. With the uh, with the holy sword, you do have this very slight reach behind, which is kind of cool. Bound to be an illusory wall around here somewhere. It's the kind of place that has them. Damn it. Nope. Okay, so, uh. I guess that's it. This is a very old place. Like, seriously old. Well, someone asked me to lure, so you're getting me luring. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh boy. Okay, let's, let's get the frack out of here. We have a, uh, well, in all honesty, who knows what in the hell we have to kill. Probably not going to be good, though. Whatever it is. Come on. Open, 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 open. Let me through. I gotta kill things. Stuff that needs to die. You know, I've had someone say to me recently, you know, why am I bothering looking at very small, why do I bother looking at really small details? You know, these are just throwaway things. And my response to that is, Miyazaki knows that the fans of his games pour every, over every tiny detail, like even these little rosettas. Although actually I think they're, yeah, they almost look like a Tudor rose. Well, the thing about it is, he knows we pour out over them. We, he knows that we spend an inordinate amount of time examining every possible detail. And well, knowing that, 
I don't trust anything in this game. It's like items. I trust item descriptions to a degree. I think item descriptions are honest, but I also think they lie. What do I mean by that? What I mean is, I think what they say is more or less honest, but it's not necessarily what they mean. Okay, I have no idea what's through this door. And I'm inclined to go with Saw Spear because... Oh god, that's bad. Guys, this could take a while. Son of a bitch. Oh, mama. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, I one shot at this. Ha! Holy cr did I one sh <laughs> I one shot at it. Oh my god. That was awesome. I really... Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. We had, we had a new fire gem. I presume it's that one. It's radial. Ugh. That was freaking awesome. And that is another chalice dungeon down. That was... That was something else. <laughs> Did I get a new key? Let's see. Is it here that they... No, they're not. They're over here, aren't they? Tumero, Tumero Root. Central Tumero. Okay, so we've done... Which one are you? That's Tumerian Lab Labyrinth. Which one? I, I don't get it. Which one is this? Okay, so I think that's the first root one. Shared fix. So that's a root. And that's Tumero Depth 2. So if I was to put this one in. Yes. Depth 1. Depth 2. Conduct Ritual. We're not going to use it. I just want to have it done and ready. So we're going to remove this chalice. And we're going to remove this chalice. Just so that I don't confuse them anymore. Oh, God, that was freaking awesome. I can't believe how well that went. I really can't. Where's German? I haven't seen the old Duffer around lately. I suppose you have. Anything new? Twin Bloodstone shards. Fire paper, sinister, lead elixir, eyeballs. I could buy like six. 
of those. Have them to hand, maybe? Not really sure. Now, I remembered something the other day, but I'm not entirely sure if I showed it or not. Uh, this. Was it here? Thick, pungent red was drawn from the organs of some unfortunate victim. A strange choice indeed. But perhaps for the messengers, wearing this accessory constitutes a form of mourning. It's a little girl. This is the ribbon that we got from the pig in the sewers underneath Yarnum. That's the little girl. So now, Gascoigne's entire family is dead. They're gone. Kind of sad. <sighs> hmm. Phantasm Shell is amazing. Just putting it out there. Phantasm Shell is freaking... Amazing. Uh, let's see, what do we have? I am going to buy as many of these as I can. And then I'm going to buy <laughs> one of those. And we're going to finish up by doing something either incredibly smart or incredibly stupid. I don't really know which. It's not there either. Is it this one? Yeah. What do you mean I can't? Why can't I go to the jail? This doesn't... Why can't I go to the jail? I want to go and try and fight Parl. Because I think I'll get a Hunter Badge from it. Because there's certain bosses that you seem to get a Hunter Badge from. And as far as I can tell, they're all... Yeah, this is not where I wanted to go. This is not where I wanted to go. But we can explore for a couple of minutes. We've nothing to lose. We've no, we've no souls. We've no nothing. So well, blood echoes. You motherfucker! up a helm. Iron Yar Hargul Helm. Yahargul, not Yar Hargul. Yahargul. Iron Helm worn by hunters of the Unseen Village. Removing the hood reveals something reminiscent of a warrior of a previous age. This headwear is made of metal, a rarity for hunter garb, and has high defense but only against physical attacks. Yeah, it's pathetic against everything else. Hang on, do I have Yahargul stuff? I do! The hell? How did that come? What? They respawn? That sounded like something tearing. Okay. Probably won't survive that fall, so we're not gonna try. Uh uh, no freaking way am I trying that fall. Okay, let's try going a different way. Not for long, just for a few minutes. I'm kind of curious. This area is much older. It's not just saying that because of the weeds, it's. That would just mean that it's uncared for. It's older. The. The architect. Yeah. I should really heal.
That's a, a person? Is that one of those slime things? And then... That... These things look like... Not really sure what they look like, to be honest, but... Their fingers are too long to be human. And they only have three fingers. And this comes back up around to here. Okay. Screw it. We've nothing to lose. Oh god! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You know I've got to go down there now and find out what the hell is there. Because there's no way I'm not doing that at this point. I want to find my way back to the jail. I didn't realize you could get locked out of, location, out of locations. If I'd known that, I would have gone back and killed Parl ages ago. Okay, we're going to go with this. And I'm dead again. Wow, that's um, that's not good. Okay, alrighty then. Let's do this thing. I'm dead again. <laughs> okay, if I can get rid of the, the... If I let them go past a bit, I take out the gunman. Or I run ahead of them and try and outdistance them and find the summoner. That could work if I can try and find the summoner. That's what we're going to do. Hi. Bye. Alrighty then. Okay, so we run ahead. The Mensis ritual must be stopped lest we all become beasts. Mensis. Well, it's obviously rooted from the word mental. Ritual of the mind? Damp blood jam. Was ritual? No, maybe wasn't. Where was it? Bolt attack. Oh, it adds lightning, which is lovely. Guy and those things. Ugh. There's another summoner somewhere. I can hear them. Can I open this? Of course not. Ok, 
Okay, so we need to get through to her. Here. Oh, I am so gonna kill you. Okay, that took a few seconds. Sorry, there's a... It's just a, a little guy here that needs to die. Okay, where... Where did I come from? I, I'm lost already. Which is ridiculous to say, but I am. Staring at. He has no eyes. And he's hiding his eyes. Why are you hiding your eyes? Something you did? Something you saw? Is that a shortcut? That's a shortcut. from visceral attacks which is considered a dark art well for lack of a better word a dark art are we going down or are we going up okay well we're not going all the way down there that's for sure Oh god. Okay, so we've another summoner. Okay, we have a guy with his a head cage. I presume they're called head cages. That's what they look like to me. Uh, no. You're all right there. I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I might come back to you on that, okay? Actually, I'm pretty sure it's all year fault. Is this where I came from? This is where I came from. So, maybe this way? I hear a summoner. Bloodstone chunk. Okay. Motherfucker. Well, that's 13,000 souls I'm not getting back. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually going to call it a day there. We have a shortcut. We can always get back to it. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, I enjoyed it. I know I wasn't as talkative as usual. But, um, hey, it's all goodness. Uh, I will be back on Sunday next week with still more Bloodborne goodness. Never did really look up here, did I?
Oh yeah, it's through here, isn't it? Of course it is. Hmm. Should be fairly safe here. So yeah, call it a day there. Uh, have a great weekend. Have a great week. I'll be back next week with more dying a lot and trying to figure out the story of this game. So uh, have a great week. Be good. Bye for now. <laughs>